So it's been a little while since my last video. Life has gotten absolutely crazy, but I had an opportunity to film my first ever road trip video in the Tesla Model Y that I actually own. I've done a couple of these in some rental vehicles that we got for Motor EV, but this vehicle is mine <laughs> and it's brand new. So this will be the very first mini road trip. It's not necessarily a, a trip from Indiana to Florida, but it is a direction that we don't typically go, which is east. We are headed, which is a very special opportunity, to see the Indianapolis Colts play the Baltimore Ravens on Sunday, possibly in a tropical cyclone, and it's about 500 miles. I don't typically travel from this direction to the east coast, so I'm really interested to see just what is out there between here and Pennsylvania, which is kind of where we're going to be staying before we get a chance to see our beloved Colts. A big reason why I created this channel was to film videos just like this, and I haven't had the chance to do that over the last couple of months, so obviously I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity on a 500 mile to and 500 mile back road trip in our Tesla Model Y on our way to Baltimore. Couldn't be happier that you're joining me on this journey. Should be a good one. However, before we hit the road, there is a tiny bit of maintenance that I have to do on our Tesla Model Y before we embark on this journey. <laughs> is charged to 100%, we obviously are going on a long trip. So decided to charge it all the way to 100. I think that's acceptable. I know a lot of people say it doesn't really matter between 80 and 100. But when we do take these road trips, I always throw it in at 100. Looks like our first stop will probably be Columbus. Then we'll have a stop outside of Pittsburgh, maybe a little later in the evening. We actually may stop in Pittsburgh for the night before going on to our next charging stop, and then our final destination. We are staying outside of Baltimore with some family for this trip, but I do know there are numerous superchargers outside of the location we're staying at, so I'm pretty confident, regardless of what state of charge we end up with, whether it be early, early morning tomorrow or mid-afternoon, should be able to get a good charge before we come back. pulled in to Grove City, Ohio. We've not been here again. We're going east. We never go east on these road trips in our Tesla. Uh, Grove City, Ohio. My favorite thing to do when we get to a supercharger is kind of see what there is on the map. So just kind of scroll in and be like, where can we eat? This stop is for 25 minutes estimated time, but we are going to stop and get something to eat. It's getting a little bit later in the day um, and we've got a little bit more to go before we actually stop for the night. Our first leg of the trip is done again, stopping at Grove City, Ohio Supercharger. It looks like they're either putting in new chargers or they've changed out the chargers. Um, they're wrapped in plastic, some of them, and they look like they're newer. I, it's weird. Uh, so hopefully everything goes well with the charge, but I thought maybe we'd dive into the stats on the first leg and just take a look at how things went. I uh, used a little bit more energy than I would have liked, uh, but that's okay. It, this is what happens when you're on a road trip. Traffic was a little bit nuts, uh, but we got here in about two and a half hours. So that was a very long leg. Um, we are just south of Columbus, Ohio. Since our last charge, went 186 miles, we used 56 kilowatt hours, and we were 300 watt hours per mile. Now, I like that to be under 300, but the fact that we're running, you know, 10 miles over the speed limit, eight to eight to 12 miles, depending on where we're at over the speed limit, I uh, felt like that was pretty good. Please don't roast me. I know I probably need a tire rotation. I'm sure someone in the comments is like, rotate your tires every 6,500 miles. So what is that the equivalent to? We essentially used about 73% of our total battery. For those folks that 
um, enjoy this type of stuff. I thought, you know, we arrived with a 22.7% a battery at the supercharger really well on the driving. Honestly, what it had projected or predicted in the car, we were about 1.5% uh, lower than that prediction, which is awesome. Uh, but we keep the car a little bit more cooler than normal. So using things like climate and all the other things you might run in the car obviously uses some energy. Um, but I do love the, this little range tip thing that Tesla has been including in their uh, software updates, which is, you know, obviously, you stay below 70, you probably would have saved some percentage. Okay, we get it. And it looks like we had a little bit of wind from the Northeast that, that cost us on the trip. Pretty good first leg. Uh, I did mention there are chargers here that look a little bit funky and I'm not quite sure why, um, but we're gonna plug in, make sure everything's okay, get something to eat, and we'll be on our way for leg two. So obviously it's the next day. Uh, just keeping it real. <laughs> We have a child and a Tesla. So stops sometimes are not uh, exactly planned. Uh, a little bit of car sickness at about eight or nine o'clock last night. So we didn't quit quite as far as we would have liked. However, we were able to stop in uh, Cambridge, Ohio. It's about an hour from our next charging location. So. We were able to find a, a decent spot to lay our heads and get some rest. And everybody feels great this morning. So we're excited to continue on our second leg of the journey, about 51 miles to what looks like a spot called Tridelphia, West Virginia. So that stop looks to be about 20 minutes and then Cumberland, Maryland, which is another 15 minute stop. So uh, we, uh, as I've mentioned, um, we're not really in any hurry. The game that we're attending is tomorrow, but we do have some things planned with family today. So hopefully uh, we can make short work of it and get to our destination around one o'clock today. That's kind of the plan. A few coffee stops, obviously, uh, to get us perked up and uh, just looking forward to the rest of our trip. I charged way more than I needed to at our last stop just because we were having dinner and I just let it charge. But if you were curious, the charging amount was about $20, it was quite a bit. Um, than we normally put in. Like I said, I actually let it go. I think it charged to like 85% or something. I didn't need that to get to my next destination, but I did allow it to kind of just go past what it needed because we were essentially um, just having dinner and I didn't want to rush it. So we're starting with about 50% of charge this morning. One of the things I recommend is to try if you can Stay at a hotel that will allow you to plug in or actually has chargers built into their location. Unfortunately, because of the situation last night, we didn't get to do that. It'll be okay. The, uh, the need to stop was greater than the need to charge, obviously. So uh, just one of those things when you have kids and uh, that's why. We got to our destination, Tridelphia, West Virginia, a Sheets. Sheets has obviously cornered the market in some of these Tesla superchargers. We've noticed uh, quite a few Sheets, S-H-E-E-T-Z, gas stations and convenience centers that actually have put in Tesla charging. A wild second leg, obviously the overnight stay and then I, I, food point, I don't know what it is, but we've, we've had, um, we've had some incidences <laughs> over the last, um, hour getting here. However, we made it 20 minute charge, uh, at this location. Then we'll have, looks like another 20 minute charge before our final destination, but let's dive into the numbers and see how we did. There is quite a bit of wind coming in from the tropical storm, tropical cyclone, whatever it has evolved into off the uh, Atlantic coast. And it looks like I've got some low tire pressure. So I need to check that because I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, but since our last charge, we went 147, uh, a lot more, a lot more energy used as you can see 
Um, but my tire pressures, I, they're lower. It is colder here than it has been uh, in previous days. So I might I might actually find some air and get a quick uh, get a quick uh, PSI or two in each one of these tires to maybe increase that, but it didn't cost that much. I like a softer ride, which is why I keep them on the lower end of 40 anyways, um, but it was very cold this morning, so I'm assuming that they may have been just a little bit lower than they probably should have been. And just around $14, so we'll unplug and be on our way. We're about two hours from our third and final stop for our destination. Thank you, sheets. I've made this mistake before, and I thought I'd point this out. Make sure this latches and holds, because if you don't, get a nice little bit. No reason to adjust your device. Our final charging stop is on a hill. <laughs> so I will try to do my best to keep this as level as possible. Again, this is our final charging stop before we reach our destination in Cumberland, Maryland. And we have driven through historic Pennsylvania, historic Maryland, saw a lot of battlefields, and obviously have taken on an elevation challenge, which means we consumed almost 10% more on our battery consumption than we would have had it been a flat road. So happy to dive in, show you what that leg looked like. We are almost there, super close. In fact, two hours from our final destination and things are looking up. Things are looking up. We're almost there. I will actually probably put more charge into the vehicle at this stop so that when we reach our destination, we're not sitting throughout the weekend with just 10 or 5% battery left. There is a supercharger nearby. We're actually gonna be really close to Gettysburg and I do know they have a supercharger there. So obviously I'll stop in, give it a good charge before we come back to Indiana. Since we saw you last, 131 miles using 39 kilowatt hours, and we were under the 300 mark. I have no idea how that happened because it was an absolute slog. As you can see, um, man, elevation really got the best of us there at the, at the end of this trip. In fact, attributing to 6%. And, you know, I may or may not have been trying our best to get here in a timely manner. The wind has picked up. We're driving a little bit over the speed limit. Apparently I have low tire pressure. Some people would say I'm good with 40 pounds per square inch. Other people would say, you gotta keep it at 42. I like a softer ride, I, I'm sorry. So if that cost me 0.7% of this trip, uh, then so be it. I will say that I do believe maybe energy prices have gone up since the last time we've taken a road trip in our Tesla. I have noticed, you know, more $14, $15, $20 dollar stops than I have in the past. You know, these typically used to be $12, $9, and, and maybe we're just going longer between each stop than we'd had previously. So I, I have noticed that on this trip than previous trips. This one is a very small supercharger, only four stations. But again, out of sheets, sheets is cornering the market, I think. I'm firmly convinced that all of the Northeast chargers in America are out of sheets. The tropical cyclone, tropical storm has finally caught up with us. It has rained. It has been extremely windy. We've used a lot of energy. And I figured one more stop before we reach our final destination here in Gettysburg, just to make sure that we have enough charge over the weekend before we leave to come back to Indiana. So this wasn't necessary, but I just, I'm always overly cautious. And this was one of those things where you might as well just stop and, you know, get a charge on it so that when you leave, you're not having to stop before you continue on your um, path home. So that's kind of why I decided that it, it's 12 minutes. It looks like this is we're cooking at 230 kilowatts. 
you know, uh, plus 900 miles per hour going into the car. It, this will be a quick stop, not a huge deal. It actually says 12 minutes to get me to 60%. I might charge it a little bit more. Maybe let's go 70% uh, just to make sure. So I, I mentioned that most of our like overall session costs have been like 14 bucks, 16 bucks, 20 bucks on our last few road trips. This one particular has been higher than normal and I never really paid attention to like the price per kilowatt hour. And most of the locations that we've stopped at have been in the 40s and I have not seen that 40 cents. I've not seen that recently. I, I think at home we're at 32. I think I've seen 35 before. Uh, this one specifically is at 39, so a little bit less. You know, the one we were at previously, I think, might have been in the 40s. I, I, I did not notice or aware, you know, you're spending a couple more dollars per session, you know, four, maybe five dollars at the most, but definitely something I, I didn't take into account. So we're driving to, to Gettysburg from our last stop. Uh, my wife had kind of mentioned, you know, a little bit higher than we're used to, and I, I just hadn't noticed, so electrical costs probably are a little higher than they normally are. The savings cost really does probably happen at home. Longer road trips, you know, obviously you are going to probably be a little cheaper than gas, um, but comparable, I think at this point, if energy costs continue to rise. We've been here for probably 10 minutes. I'm already at $6 um, on the session. So it, that's, it's just part of it. And honestly, so much fun to drive. <laughs> I don't, I didn't notice the extra kilowatts and being like, oh man, it used to be $15 and now it's 20. What in the world has gone on? Oh, is this really more valuable than driving a gas bar? None of those thoughts had crossed my mind. It was just literally like, huh, it's interesting. It's a little bit higher than we're, we're used to. Gettysburg, we're only like 15 minutes away from where we're actually staying before the game tomorrow. So we decided Let's pump 20 or 30 minutes of, of power into the vehicle. That way we have plenty of charge when we get up on Monday morning to return home. So I'm gonna cut it off here. This was our day one road trip that leaked into a day two road trip because of certain circumstances, no big deal. We are uh, settling in for the weekend and for some fun festivities tomorrow at the Colts Baltimore game. And then we'll be back to show you day three road trip coming back to Indiana and that will just be in a day. We plan to get up early in the morning and hopefully be home by mid-afternoon.